There is a, a magazine called First Things. It, it sort of remarks itself as, quote, America's most influential journal of religion and public life. There was an article not long ago, and this is the basic summary. It said in America or the Western world that we were in a positive world toward the church and the Bible pre-1994. Then we went to neutral world from 1994 to 2014. And then from 2014 to present, we are in negative world. Let me explain this. Positive world is when the culture looks at the church and sees the church as a helpful, valuable asset. It's when people generally believe uh, that believing in God is a good thing, going to church is an admirable thing, and the morality of the Bible would make our culture better. So it's positive. If you wanna run for political office, you need to say you believe in God. And if you wanna have a good marriage, you probably should have that marriage in a church building. That was the positive world. Then we came to the, to the neutral world and the neutral world was, you, there wasn't any benefits to saying you were a Christian, but you weren't necessarily attacked for it. People weren't for the church, they were just indifferent toward the church. And the result is that there became two primary modes of ministry. One was the religious right, trying to take back the culture and fight to go back to that positive position. And it was led by something called the moral majority, which today sounds funny. If you think about it, the majority is definitely not moral. Uh, in addition, there was seeker sensitive Christianity and that was people did like church, but now they're not coming to church because it's outdated and irrelevant. We need to make it more seeker sensitive and sensitive we need to not talk about hard things or make it difficult to enter into church. And we need to bring people back in a less spiritual environment. From 2014 on, now Christianity is not just positive or neutral, it's seen as negative. And the word of God is seen as negative. And what that means is if you love God, there's gonna be a lot of pressure for you to surrender to the culture rather than surrender to Christ. That's what was happening in the days of the judges. And in addition, today people see the word of God as immoral, evil, and wrong. Now, if something is just wrong, you can ignore it, but if it's evil, you're morally obligated to stop it. So we call this social justice. Social justice is a cultural attack on the word of God, declaring that the word of God is in fact evil. This is exactly what was happening in the days of the judges. We'll get into it. And I wanna show you one more uh, news story. This came out from the UK, which tends to be about a generation ahead of us spiritually. But a recent study in the United Kingdom found that nearly a quarter of young Brits are open to banning the Bible, agreeing with a ban on books. Whole generation is saying, it's not just that we disagree with the Bible, we judge it and it's immoral and wrong and the God of the Bible is evil. That's a negative world. Howdy, Pastor Mark here. Thanks for viewing the clip. And if you'd like the entire sermon, we've got it ready to go. 